This is the iPhone 3GS, a 13-year-old iPhone. Yes, this iPhone was announced on stage on the 8th of June 2009 and was the successor to the iPhone 3G. It really didn't seem like that big of an upgrade, mainly due to having an unchanged design, but it did feature a much faster processor, which definitely made a difference in its lifespan. The latest iOS version it supports is iOS 6.1.6 and I'm quite surprised at how smoothly it runs. App support, as expected, is not good, with most day-to-day -day apps being not available. There are some that work, like Telegram, with all the main features still somehow working, but for everything else, you're stuck with web apps. YouTube and Instagram, for example, work, although they're super slow, and you can even still make purchases on both Amazon and eBay. And I find it quite amazing that such an old iPhone is still capable of so many modern tasks. There are also a few nostalgic games you can still play, like Zombie Tsunami, which I think was my favorite game about 10 years ago. I also realized that Apple Maps still works. It can still give you directions, but definitely don't follow them as you might never arrive to your destination. I love the current Apple Maps app, but on iOS 6 it was just so buggy and unreliable. Another important feature this iPhone brought was an improved camera with video recording. Previous iPhone models couldn't record videos and in fact there were apps that would instead screen record the viewfinder. So the 3 megapixel camera shoots terrible photos and even worse videos. Smartphone photography has definitely improved in the last decade. I guess it was great at the time to be able to just use your iPhone for both photos and videos, but as of today, it's worse than a $30 budget phone. I also didn't mention that it doesn't have a front-facing camera. That was only added the next year with the iPhone 4. What in my opinion shows more its age in this phone is the design. It's made of shiny rounded plastic on the back and stainless steel on the side rail. It looks very dated and was not durable at all. Even with the most care, it scratched too easily. The plastic was pretty fragile, but today it's even weaker and I'm quite afraid it's gonna just fall apart. Nonetheless, I love the iPhone 3GS. It was the first iOS device I've ever had and it's the iPhone that kickstarted my love for Apple devices. I had one for a short time in 2014, which I replaced with a 5th gen iPod Touch. If you're wondering if this is my original 3GS, well, no, because I was stupid enough to break my old one after it stopped working. I do still have the motherboard though. So this is it for this video, I hope you liked this overview at such an old device. Do you think I should make more videos like this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.